And thanks for joining us today on In the Spotlight. And I'm here with one of my most favorite people in the whole wide world. Bernadette Gavin is an author, a healer, and an animal whisperer. And I want to welcome you to In the Spotlight. Thank you, Karen. It's, I'm really, really excited to be here. I'm excited for you to be here. I've had the pleasure of working with you as one of my coaching clients in the mastery program for animal communication. And let me just say, not only did you do amazingly well in the 12 week program, but I just love and adore you as a person, as a human, the way that you connected with my pets during those practices. Mm -hmm. You're just amazing and I love you're, you have this beautiful, gentle approach that is the animals just really respond to. So it's just been so fun getting to know you and I'm excited to share you with everybody who's tuning in today. So why don't we start first with your background, share a little bit with us about, uh, you know, where you're from, where you are now, and how did you get to this place of animal whisperer? Oh, thank you, Karen. And, and the feelings mutual, by the way. Um, Lovely introduction. Well, um, I'm currently sitting right at the beach in my in my home, in my hometown of Raglan. It's a little surfing town in New Zealand. And I actually grew up in this town, but um, when I was 17 years old, I, being an adventurer and having a passion for travel, I spent years and years uh, away um, doing what I love doing. Um, yeah, and I came to this work because I just have such an adoration for animals. I always have, I've always had a really strong connection with animals. And it was just a really natural um, kind of a, a progression towards doing this work. It, it, it had always been something that I would have just, it was on the top of my list of things to do before I knew it was a thing to do. I just thought it was my imagination when I connected with animals. I thought it was like a superpower that, that really nobody could really have. And um, when I discovered it was an actual thing, it just blew my mind and it was something I had to do. I, I totally understand too. It was, it's like, oh, it's, a, it's really a thing. There's a, there was a name for it. And um, just to back up a little bit for those who don't know where Ragland is, share with us where in the world you are, because you have the most beautiful accent. So share with us where that is. So Ragland is a little surfing town and it's on the west coast of the North Island of New Zealand. Uh huh. Okay. So we're like opposite ends of the planet, you and I. <laughs> are. Yes. Um, it is truly an amazing journey that you've had. And I love that you followed your heart and your passion. And you've really trusted that and pursued it. And, you know, that's, that's what I'm all about is empowering um, everyone to follow that dream and pursue it, you know, even if it doesn't have a name, even if it isn't called something, you know, if it's in your heart, it's in your soul, you know, definitely follow that dream. So um, tell us a little bit about your animal communication, and you're also an author and a healer, and I can see your book back there behind you, and let me just, yeah. this book is amazing, so why don't you tell us a little bit about By the Light of the Moon and, and your work with the uh, as an author? Well, um, By the Light of the Moon is a memoir, um, and it is, it is a story of a journey that I took in my mid-twenties. It was a four-year journey where I spent um, the entire four years on a tiny little sailboat sailing around the world. So I sailed more than 28,000 nautical miles over those four years. And a lot of that time was just me and my boyfriend at the time. Um, and of course, if, if you know anything about sailing and you, you're constantly, one person's on watch, if not driving the boat, steering the boat, sailing the boat. So it was a lot of that time was completely by myself. Um, and so I've, uh, it, took, it took 17 years to actually write that book. I started writing that book 17 years ago and it never quite felt finished. And I actually had to dive back into that book as an older woman, as a, as a wise woman, and revisit the whole story and find rabbit holes where I was not really speaking my truth and not really 
letting my authentic voice come out in the story. And I had to dive down into those holes and really dig deep and write about what was actually going on with me. And so the story now has a whole other layer of, of wise woman in it. And it's a much more authentic story. And it's, it's very, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a powerful story for anybody, whether they're a sailor or not. I, I will have to agree with you. I'm reading it right now. And I am, first of all, blown away by your courage. Uh, I don't know that I would take on a journey like that. And it, it is really powerful. And you call it a memoir, but this is, hold it up again. This is a fat book. <laughs> this is fat. Yeah. It's heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. And I recommend it to anybody who uh, has the sense of adventure and uh, would enjoy this very personal, but very, I think, um, it authentic to the reader too. You know, I, I, I've never sailed, but it, it intrigued me just what you would see on a daily basis and the things that you endured. You're crazy. You are crazy. <laughs> crazy and I can feel it when you were diving off the bow and with the dolphins I mean I was right there with you so thank you for awesome. a little bit about your memoir with us it is a beautiful book so please everyone go out and buy a copy of it is it on Amazon um it is on Amazon as an ebook um currently but you can definitely get it through my website awesome and we'll and what is your website by the way for those who are my website is www.bernadettegavin.com ErnadetteGavin.com, and I will have the link um, also for those who are tuning in. So let's talk a little bit about your Animal Whisperer work. That's how we came to know each other. You know, what does someone expect when they book a session with you? What does Bernadette Gavin have for the client? You know, what what's your style or what's your specialty? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I have come to learn that my specialty is um, because I've always gravitated towards animals, even when I was a child, animals seem to gravitate towards me as well. We had this kind of a mutual sort of a, um, a relationship, even with animals I didn't know. Um, and so, and I do, I do definitely put it down to my time on the ocean, four years of, of a lot of that alone time and really, really connected with myself and really getting to know how to be completely comfortable with being completely present. And so I find that now I have this ability to be very, very present in the company of an animal, either remotely or in person. And I seem to be able to gain the trust of animals. It's, in a, it's profoundly present, but also in a gentle way. And I find that animals just share with me things that um, they kind of just, there's so much information that comes, which is, is really beautiful. It's really beautiful. I agree wholeheartedly. You blew me away with the details and the messages that you received from my animals. So I would have to agree with you. You have this very unique method and it's beautiful and it's loving and it's gentle and it's just the softness that the animals really respond to so I would have to agree with you totally yeah. so do you do um, sessions for uh, living and deceased animals and then you said you also do work with humans as well so tell us a little bit I do do um, animals in person and also remotely with um, animals on this plane and also deceased animals. I find that just the ability to connect with those subtle energies means that um, I'm able to connect easily with deceased animals or animals that have passed, which is a very profound honor for me. And it just blows me away every time. Um, yes, in the human work, I've been doing um, body work and energy work and teaching yoga for humans for the last two decades. And so I'm, um, that was where I started. I actually started, I actually started doing kahuna massage um, for humans. So that's an ancient Hawaiian technique. Um, and what I discovered was that when I was performing a massage for somebody, you know, when you have a massage, you want to keep 
it's nice and peaceful. You don't really want to talk too much, but I would be getting downloads of information for that person. And of course I'd have to try and file it and remember it all for an hour and a half or an hour. And then afterwards, if it was appropriate, I'd say, do you mind if I share something with you? And this was just a lot to hold and a lot to carry and a lot to remember. And so my, my therapies with humans evolved from Kahuna Massage into a session which involves craniosacral therapy, which is a very profound therapy modality, and energy clearing and chakra balancing. And so it's in a whole session, which I call a sacred journey guidance session. I developed this so that I could be in session with a person for an hour or an hour and a half and speak to them as the messages come rather than going, okay, I need to remember that. I need to keep quiet and kind of, you know, just make sure this person is relaxed. In this session, I can just say, hey, this is coming up for me right now. And um, in that way, it's just very direct and we can share, we can share insights and um, basically messages from, you know, from wherever they're coming. Sometimes it's internal messages, sometimes it's it's divine guidance that is coming from outside of, of the both of us. And this yeah. is, um, you can also do remote work. Is, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's beautiful. Cranial sacral therapy, cranial sacral therapy is incredible. If you don't know anything about it, you know, Bernadette is a perfect person to work with and find out more. It's incredibly powerful modality, healing modality. And I've had some work with it in the past with some of my pets and they respond wonderfully mm. to that type of therapy. So um, thank you for sharing that with us. And um, why don't you just tell us, you know, how do we get in touch with you? I'll have your website link, but uh, what's the best way to reach you? Your website, social media, is there um, a preferred way to book a session with you? Um, my website, www.bernadettegavin.com is, is really a good way to get in touch with me, but I also have an Instagram account, bernadette.marama, um, which is my second name. Um, I'm on Facebook as well, Bernadette, um, Marama Gavin. So yeah, anyway, I love hearing from, from my people and new people. Um, I do have a, a special that it just runs all the time. It's like um, for any new clients that, that, um, that I receive, there's actually a, <clears throat> an opportunity to, to win a copy of my memoir. And there's also a new... Um, I recently wrote an ebook, which is all about kind of, um, it's actually the, 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 the most effective and profound um, practices that I discovered while I was sailing. I put them together in, in a bit of a, a guide. Um, and so you'll find that on my website. I give that away actually. Wonderful. Wow. That's very, very generous of you. And I encourage everyone to go to Bernadette's website. Again, it's BernadetteGavin.com and I will have the links for you. And uh, thank you so much for being here. I just love sharing you with my audience and my followers. I can't say enough wonderful things about you. I mean, truly, I know that you will take very good care of any clients that you book. And I'm just so glad we met. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to get to know you. So thank you so much for sharing. And is there anything else that you need to share or are we, are we all done? Anything else you wanna throw just, out? Um, my appreciation for you, Karen, actually, you're an amazing person. And it was, it, I came across you through the, the passing of my own dear cat, who was 17 years old when she passed last year. Um, I've been connecting with animals for a long time, but I felt like I was ready for a really wonderful teacher. And it was through the passing of my cat and my grieving and not knowing how to deal with my grief that I, was, I searched on my podcasts for how to deal with grieving with an animal loss. And an interview with you came up and I think it was We Don't Die Radio and I listened to it and my within the couple of days in which I listened to this interview with you, I went from completely heartbroken and, and unable to function through grieving for my cat and feeling 
so much better, feeling completely like everything was going to be okay. And then I had a visitation from that cat, which is a whole nother story. And at the end of your interview, you said, yeah, I work with people and I teach one-on-one. -on -one. So I just went, all right, that's it. There it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. First provides, right? Totally. And, and yeah. Thank you so much for that. I, I am truly blessed and I've met some really incredible and amazing and talented uh, people through this work and you're certainly one of them. So thank you for that. It's, it's truly kind of you. You can also find Bernadette Gavin on my website under book a session. She's on my directory. So uh, that if you need to find her, that's another way to also get in touch. So thank, thank you, so Karen. Thank this you so much for having me. You're welcome. This has been great. And um, I'm excited for you and what's coming up in the future. And uh, of course, I'm wishing you always the very best. So thank you for being on In the Spotlight with us today. Thank you.